What's going on guys? This is Malcolm again and you're back on Malcolm Talks. Thanks for visiting the channel. Today I'm going to talk to you guys about four ways to do things that you just don't feel like doing. How many of you guys have experienced this? There's something that you know you need to do but you just don't feel like doing it. You try everything to make yourself get up and be motivated to do it but it's just like I don't feel like it. But you know you got to get it done. How do you do it? Well, I'm going to give you four tips. Tip number one, visualize yourself actually doing what it is that you want and need to do. Let me give you an example. So let's just say you need to clean up your house and you don't feel like doing it. So instead, you're laying on the sofa and you're watching TV. Turn off the television, close your eyes, and sit there and think about yourself actually cleaning up the house. Just picture it. Imagine everything you would do. Imagine the first thing you would do. Imagine yourself getting up vacuuming. Then imagine yourself washing the dishes. Then imagine yourself wiping down the countertops. Imagine yourself making up your bed, cleaning your bathroom. And take it a step further. Now imagine all of that fast forwarded. You know how if you look at a video and it's fast forward, like uh, have you seen those videos where you look up at the sky and you see clouds and the clouds are going by real fast or like a video of a plant growing and the plant is like actually growing really fast because it's in a fast speed motion? Do that same thing with your visualizations. Whatever huge task it is that you need to get done, visualize yourself completing that task, but also visualize it in fast motion. It actually works. Once you get done with that visualization, uh, visualization technique, it'll be much easier for you to get up and do the thing that you thought about. Number two, number two, can you see that? Two, put an alert on your phone. It's really easy. All of us have smartphones. If you don't have a smartphone, I'm, I'm sorry. Well, you're probably not even watching this video. <clears throat> Excuse me. Even if you have a flip phone, that'll work. It doesn't matter. Put an alert on your phone. And with most of the alerts, you can actually type in a little message on there. Something that I do is I'll type a message that says, you said you were going to do this at 4 p.m. Get your ass up and do it. You know, I'll actually type that into my alert. So at 4 p.m. when my phone starts going off, I'm like, I, I would have forgotten that I put that alert in there. So I look at my phone and I'm like, ah, oh, damn, I did say I was supposed to do that. And for some reason, it makes it easier to do it because it's like someone else is mentioning to you that you said you were going to do it, even though that someone else is you. Use your phone. It actually works pretty good if you put alerts in your phone. Works for me. Maybe it'll work for you. Number three, the third way of how to get things done when you just don't feel like doing it. Number three, I call it zombie mode. Zombie mode. Now, what do I mean by that? I'm sure you guys have seen um, these apocalyptic movies, apocalypse shows, where there's zombies walking around, these mindless, uh, crazy looking zombies. Become a zombie. Whatever the task is, get up and do that task like a mindless zombie. It really works. Block out everything else from your mind and just say, you know what, I'm not going to even think. I'm just going to do. And just do 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 things do it clean your house do do don't even think we spend too much time thinking about things when you go into zombie mode and you don't have to be in zombie mode all day you can only be in zombie mode 15 minutes you can get a lot done if you just go into zombie mode stop thinking and just act walk in a straight line and do the things that you know you need to do but don't think about it Become a zombie. It works. And last but not least, number four. Number four, I call this the nuclear option. The nuclear option. You heard it right. The nuclear option is when you, you know, it's sort of a mix between zombie mode and go all out. Because what you're basically doing is you're going to get it done and it doesn't matter what it takes. Like, let me give you an example. Let's say that I need to go to the grocery store and I just don't feel like doing it. Because I know to go to the grocery store, I'm going to have to put on some clothes. I'm going to have to 
wash my face and, and brush my teeth. You know, I need to, um, all of my clothes are wrinkled. I need to iron something. I don't want to leave the house and look a hot mess, right? Well, the nuclear option is when you just throw on some shorts and a shirt and some flip-flops and don't give a damn what you look like. And you just go to the store and you get it and you come back. That's the nuclear option. Nuclear option is when you stop caring about 90% of any of the things that are keeping you from not doing these things and you do it anyway. Maybe you feel as though you'll be embarrassed if something is not done correctly. Maybe you feel like um, you can wait a little bit longer. No, nuclear option is you just get it done like instead of using a uh, instead of using like a little hammer like ching 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 you get a big ass sledgehammer just boom get it done it doesn't have to be pretty because all you care about it all you care about is getting it done that's the nuclear option you can't use a nuclear option all the time but the nuclear option is really good when you just know you need to get stuff done so let's say you have a 10 page paper that you need to do what would be the nuclear option well the nuclear option would be just write down anything doesn't matter what you write as long as it's 10 pages you got a 10 page paper and that is the nuclear option now you might get a D minus but you still finish the paper that's the nuclear option because see 0 minus 0 is still 0 so the nuclear option is going to give you a little bit more than what you had to start off with and I hope you guys you know learn something from this you know I'm gonna give you a quick recap uh, first was uh, visualize visualize yourself actually doing the task that you do not want to do and then on top of that you can add in the fact that you can fast forward it in your mind think about it being done fast forward 